become more clutch? Well, a lot of us think that you either have the clutch gene or you don't. You know, Djokovic is some mythical creature. But the truth is, anyone can become more clutch because being clutch is really just a mixture of having the skills to execute proven tactics, so we gotta have a plan, the exact and precise repetition of those basic skills that you've honed, the ability to do it under pressure, which is obviously a big one, that's why we have nine levels of simulated pressure in our training, and the belief in yourself that you will come through in the big moments. Now the real key is training all of these skills at the same time like the military do, so that you become a clutch player just by doing the training. And even then, of course, you're not always going to come through if you're playing players at your level, but as your skills get better, as you laser focus on the 20% of skills that really matter when it comes to winning, well, obviously, you're going to come through more often than the people that are doing the opposite. And even when you don't, you've built an identity as a winner, so a loss doesn't affect you nearly as much as it may have in the past. So Dr. Erin Boynton, who's on our team, called herself a mental midget. And she was coming back to competition after three decades away from tennis while she was getting her board certified orthopedic surgeon thing going. And she wanted to become a national champion in her age category, but she always had this story in her head that she'd, she'd just choke you know, in the big moments. She had the skills to get there, but she'd blow it in the end. So she had the hard skills, but she changed her story and then literally everything changed. She won the finals, I think six one six love. So if we wanna become clutch, let's first have a plan. So we teach five tactics in singles and just three in doubles. Let's develop the ability to execute that plan by repeating those basic skills Let's do them under pressure and let's develop genuine belief in ourselves that we will come through. Now notice, I didn't say, hey, let's get a few more miles an hour on your forehand, let's perfect your technique, let's hit thousands and thousands of balls. Nothing wrong with any of that, by the way. But we hear from our students all the time that the competitive players, that they did that for years and decades. They took loads of lessons, they bought the courses, and they were still losing to players that they knew they should be beating. Oh, and by the way, let's definitely not rely on talent. Talent is a fair-weathered friend that'll leave you at the first whiff of pressure. So we redefine talent as the ability to reliably and predictably execute a skill under pressure. That's our definition of talent. If you're a competitive player and you want to quickly start winning more matches against players you know you should be beating, you can take the winning formula diagnostic tool for free by clicking the link down below, and it'll show you exactly where you rank in the four key match winning categories, and it'll show you how to progress in all of them. We just created it, it's brand new, We've had hundreds of people take the quiz and have their entire paradigm competition change, the way they look at competing. So the link to that is down in the description, you can take it for free. If you have any questions about becoming more clutch or you know, if you're having a particular problem in tight matches and tournaments, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to, to make a video for you to help you out in those. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, uh, share it. We want to get this message out to as many people because at the end of the day, it's not about competition with anybody else. It's just competition with ourselves, becoming the next best version of ourselves. And we can do that through tennis, which is a huge uh, blessing. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.